I'm Heather Igluliotti. Uh, my parents are Linda and James Igluliotti. Uh, my father's parents are Matthew Igluliotti and Susanna Mitsuk. And her father, my great grandfather, was Solomon Mitsuk. Susanna, or Susie, as she was better known, was a fantastic seamstress. This work is a caribou hide bag with beadwork on it. Um, I don't know when it was made because it was actually, <laughs> it came into my life because someone uh, reached out to me on Twitter and said, hey, I think I have something that your grandmother made that my father bought and has been passed down in my family. So it's really special that it's here in the exhibition and on loan um, and that I get to spend time with it and to spend time with her beadwork. She passed away when I was a little girl and so I didn't get to spend um, as much time with her when I was growing up as I would have liked. And so it's really special to me to have this here now. I'm standing beside uh, my Nanak's dolls that are in uh, Inua. My, my Nanak made these. She was taught how to make dolls by her mom, uh, Susie Rubin Nessigalowak. And uh, if I didn't mention her name, my Nanak's name is Ella Nessigalowak Brown. So these are dolls wearing um, traditional sort of like a Mother Hubbard style dresses from the Western Arctic, from the Inuvialuit Regional Settlement. It's really heartwarming to see family within the exhibition. Uh, it makes me feel very um, at home. Hi. This work here is really special to me because it's been made by my great aunt Elisipi. And in my journey as a curator, an exhibition with these dolls is one of the first exhibitions that I ever curated. And it was a great honor to make what I believe was her first solo exhibition with a very special collection of dolls that was made for, especially for children. These dolls were made. There's a collection of a great many different dolls and vignettes that all depict stories that she had heard and uh, heard from other elders around Nunavik. This one right here is a woman and a caterpillar which tells the story of a woman who adopted a caterpillar and I think the work that she's done is very very incredible and I'm very proud of it. The carving we have here was made by my great-grandfather he was my mother's father's father. He was from Natsilik, and he eventually moved to Igluligarchuk with his wife, who was from Ivilik, my Amalk, uh, Igalak. At the base of the carving, he has his name in syllabics, Samuktuk. And to me, I feel that's a, a bold statement to say, this is my piece. The legacy he left behind with my family is one that inspires me. He's known as a man of integrity. He had great attention to detail and he did a lot of intricate work. My mother says his favorite medium to carve was ivory. And I can see why it allows him to do the work that he does best and that attention to detail and that hard work that he shows in his work is something that inspires me every day.